Hello folks. It's uh it's been a while since uh since I did my last chat. You can see I've I've got some teeth in now, temporary ones, uh they've got to alter them in three months. Anyway, welcome to Swan Song. Um it's been a hectic time, I've had lots of appointments and uh um it's been a bit of a learning curve. It took a bit of time to get used to the boat. Still getting used to it. Um, it's working out how to do things and getting a schedule, um, which I'm still not quite there yet. Um, at the moment, I'm kind of treating things as a bit of a holiday because, um, you know, I spent so long caring that, uh, you know, for my parents that... Uh, I just need um, some time to um, recuperate. So uh, I have a, <laughs> I've already done it. I did a video a few weeks ago. I never got it up, um, showing you around the boat. And my intention is to do that after this introduction sort of thing. Tell you what's been going on. Um, well, for those of you, those of you who haven't got a boat or haven't been on a boat. Um, it's quite a nervous experience this last week with those winds what we had. Um, at times, I've got to be honest, I thought um, the, the, <laughs> the boat was sinking. <laughs> um, I, th I kept hearing all the swishing water and that and it was just because of the waves and that going against the um, uh, the side of the boat and uh, and uh, against the shoreline at, uh, at the time it felt more than that um, anyway uh, I've been gradually discovering things what I needed and what didn't work um, previously I'd purchased a mini freezer a 31 litre one you know one of these tabletop ones but for, for me, I know I'm on my own, it just wasn't suitable, not suitable at all. So I, I sold that and I've bought myself a chest freezer and uh, that's 199 litre. So um, I, I, it has got ample room for, for, for all my food, which means that I can have I can choose when I want to have something. I don't like to be set to, you know, Monday you have this, Tuesday you have that. That's not me. I like to have what I fancy when I want it. So um, I've got all sorts of things in there, you know, meats. And I've just uh, got an order for some game meat. Um, so they've got things like pheasant and partridge, um, wild duck, uh, various things um, which is coming tomorrow. I'm going to um, do videos on those. Now as I haven't cooked these before it's going to be a bit of a uh, an experience. It's going to be we're going to be having a bit of a laugh. Things might not work out because you see the, that was something which Although I, lo I used to love to eat, um, it was my mum who used to always cook them. And I ne that was the one thing, they were, they were the few things which I never got documented. So I've got no, I don't know how, really how she did it. I can, um, just what I can remember. So, um, so we're good to just going to have to um, make that up, basically. One thing for sure is I don't like undercut stuff, so under, so it's going to be well cooked, and uh, um, just a matter of whether it will be too well cooked. <laughs> anyway, I'm look, quite looking forward to that. It'll be nice. So I've got plenty. I've got the freezer um, filled up. I was worried because um, with the COVID situation, and I just had this sneaky feeling that things might get a bit tougher over the next few weeks. And this is all before this strain. It, sometimes I've got this kind of sixth sense. And um, so uh, 
So that, that was one of the reasons for having this freezer, which is sitting next to me there. Very quiet, doesn't interfere with you at all, and it's um, economical. It runs off the 240, not a 12 volt, uh, but I'm marina based anyway, so that's fine. Um, yeah, so I'm quite pleased about that. Uh, what else have I? Oh, I finally got my deep fat fryer. Uh, yeah, deep fat fryer in here. It's a smaller one. I bought these things new. Um, I didn't think I'd be able to use them on the boat, but um, I, I was forgetting about the um, the electricity hookup, and I didn't realise just how kind of cheap it was to use. So, um, so anyway, I've, I've got that. I have got a halogen, it's not been out of the box yet. That's an oven. Um, I've got to find a space. When I take you to have a look around, you'll see uh, things are really tight. Um, there isn't much room. The boat's 46 feet and um, <laughs> I filled the cupboards up and uh, there's a stuff on the floor. I managed to get a table in which is it where the camera is on at the moment? This is this is lady. Say hello, lady. Yeah, you're a good girl, aren't you? Yeah, there you are. Look, you're on camera. Yes, yes, good girl, aren't you? So, uh, yeah, so, uh, so that's uh, happening. I've, um, yeah, I, when I get, I, I'm still struggling with my health. That's really uh, a big issue at the moment um, as it I can't walk very far and even from the boat here to where the car's parked um, if I do it more than once a day then I'm struggling um, and I have to take multiple stops on the way so this is all from long Covid um, but I finally got a date well a rough date of when my treatment might start and that's in February next year so we'll just have to wait and see um, whether that happens now with this new strain of COVID. I'm, I'm not so sure. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's holding me back a bit. And that's why I haven't been able to, I can't do things what I wanted like, like a normal person, you know, just nip out, do a bit of filming around the marina, around the ponds and that. I've got to be careful with the marina, they don't like me, don't like filming because I've, because some people want a private life in their narrowboats and that and uh, they may have, um, they may be hiding from someone or they may have a bit of, uh, up to a bit of hanky-panky or whatever and they don't want the other half to, to know. So, you know, so, um, so, well, that's what I assume it is. So, um, so yeah, privacy. So, uh, I don't, uh, I've got a, any filming what I do or, um, you know, photography and that, yeah, I have to take the names of the, uh, boats and that out of it and the numbers so nobody can track them. Um, but I probably won't be doing any, any like that. What I will do is, um, if I do any photos, it's going to be in an, um, altered into an artefact and uh, there'll be no uh, visible um, boat numbers or names to, uh, to distinguish them. Um, I have took quite a lot of photos of the, well I call it like a little nature reserve, it's just opposite my boat here. Um, it's basically a little lake and uh, it's got um, uh, reeds and everything there, the swans are on there and the ducks and you know it's got some picnic tables around but it's it, in the summer when everything's grown up and that it, it kind of feels a bit wildish to me and it's really nice listening to the birds so yeah I've got photos now I realise that I can't really share th certain things with you with some of you because you don't use Facebook or you might not use Instagram or Twitter or whatever. Um, but I am prepared to set up a WhatsApp group um, where we can uh, have a little chat if you feel that's safer. 
but uh, you'll have to uh, let me know. Um, I think my mobiles or my WhatsApp details will pop up somewhere or other. Uh, certainly will on my narrowboat site and Facebook. Um, but if you need the number, um, then I'm sure we can sort of kind of arrange that. My phone's busy today, isn't it? It's all messages from uh, probably I think it's from the uh, WhatsApp group from the marina. Yeah. Um, what else is there? Yes, yeah, so I've not really done much photography video. Um, I've got a setup now so I can do my creative stuff, but I've not been in the um, right frame of mind for it. I think it's it's just been going from being so busy, and I just need to chill now, and then and then things will fall back into place. For the moment, I'm kind of chilling out, and I'm reading some books. I like to read a good horror book. I've got a digital supply, you know, so that keeps me entertained. And uh, that's what I'm do that's what I'm doing at the moment. Um, but I will be creative at some point. I've got a lot of stuff to work from. Um, but as some of you who are artists or crafters and that, you'll know it, you can sometimes get a block, and you just got to step away, and then you come back to it. And uh, that's what I'm doing at the moment. Um, I've got a nice um, graphics pad, graphics tablet here, um, 24 inch, and uh, so that's going to be fun to use when I, when I finally start to use it. Uh, right, so I think that's basically about it. I will give you then, I was thinking, uh, yeah, I, I will do a bit of video from the boat here. It is a bit of a mess. Um, ladies in a heavy malt at the moment, so it doesn't matter how many times I um, hoover the carpet, and I do hoover it. I've got one of these um, G Tech um, portable ones. Got to get through loads of uh, emptying, emptying it down there. Um, does a great job because a lot of them won't pick up air, but this does brilliant. But it's an ongoing thing, so um, so you're going to see a mess, and I keep tripping over ladies' water bowl because there's not much room. So there's a few water stains in the kitchen bit on the lino. Um, but this is some of the things which you need to know about for those who haven't, who are thinking about going on a boat but haven't got one. Um, you need to be aware of that. Uh, the other thing is, and I think I, I'm not sure whether I mentioned this in, a, in my first video, or I might have mentioned it in the one which I'm not putting up now. Um, the boat can be at a slight angle, so when so when you got things on a, a, a surface, on a table or a um, shelf or whatever, um, you got to be careful with that and take precautions that it's not going to roll off. Now, obviously, when when this applies with war, ladies' water bowl, it kind of runs down one way. So these are all things you need. So what I've done is I've just put a bowl just on a bit of carpet here um, on the edge, um, so uh, so it's not going to run that way. It will get soaked up and then dry out. I've been talking about heating and that. I've been using just the diesel heating on this boat, and it it works great. But I'm not sure on the uh, cost of it. So I'm pretty sure I, the tank's going to need filling up soon. If it and it's going to be interesting because the tank was full um, five weeks ago. I filled it up. So. Oh, I think in the next few days it's going to need doing, so I need to get somebody to give me a hand because I can't drive the boat and I don't know how to. My insurance won't allow me. Um, 
but it, it cost me, I think, £117 the last time to top it up. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how much it takes this time and then we can work it out how much I'm using on average per day. So, uh, yeah, so th that's going to be interesting. Um, I, I've got a multi stove burner here, but I've got things around it and, uh, and to, uh, I, may, I may have to use it, it depends on the cost of this diesel, we'll find out, but uh, for the moment I'm quite happy for it just to be standing there and, you know, not use it, because it apparently will get a bit mucky and what have you, and I've, I'm not so f I don't want more, even it's dusty as it is, especially with a dog, long haired dog, and um, with the computer stuff and that, it's, it's not great if, uh, if that's going to happen. Um, yeah, so that's it folks. So uh, I'll let, I'll take you around in a little bit and, uh, and then uh, I'll enjoy your feedback. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hello folks. Um, sorry it's been a while since the uh, last vlog, there's been a lot of appointments, I've had my teeth out and, uh, well some of them, and, uh, but, uh, yeah, so anyway, I just thought I'd give you a quick look around the inside of the boat, um, Now, I've got to tell you, Lady, my doggy, is in a heavy melt. I did uh, brush, um, hoover the carpet, but um, overnight and that, it's, uh, it's gone terrible. So I'm just letting you know that. This is where I'll be work on my, um, on my artwork. This is a graphics tablet. <coughs> you can see we've got the fire down there. Got a bag which you can see just underneath there, um, which has got all my um, virgin stuff, what's being collected. And we take you, you can see the fire there. I haven't used it, I don't need it at the moment. The, um, I'm using the diesel heating and that's keeping me nice and warm. I've got myself um, a tabletop um, freezer and that's what you're seeing here. Let me just get up a minute. Now you can see it's going to be I'm not. Uh, I'm not hiding anything. It's. Uh, I've just had breakfast, bacon sandwich. So um, pots are yet to be washed up. But uh, there we are. We've got a microwave, which is there. We've got a uh, a grill, which is there, and an oven. Underneath there, uh, well, we've got cutlery, and then the bottom is a fridge which is uh, discreetly hidden there. We've got some, we've got obviously four hobs on the cooker. Uh, we've got cupboards underneath. Somewhere to put uh, wine, but I don't drink wine. Um, so that will probably be for my, um, my soft drinks. Another cupboard under here. And then a very thin cupboard here where you can just, you can't really put a lot. And then up here, we've got um, cups. I haven't, uh, still haven't finished putting things away. So when I came, this is where I initially put them. I haven't put them away. Because um, I want to, obviously, you can see I've got a, up here I've got a glass missing but I would like to keep it looking quite nice so this stuff's going to be moved. 
bit of um, canal artwork on the uh, on here. This actually, you can take this whole door um, latch out and put a window in. We've got the window for it. I have, uh, and then down there, folks, we've got the bathroom. And we've got my bedroom. That is basically it. It's 46 feet long. Um, and it appears to be, uh, appears to suit what I require. People are really friendly on this marina. Um, let's just uh, see if I can turn this round. Okay, folks, so as you can see, I've got some teeth, the temporary ones, top ones. Um, got to go back in three months' time to get some uh, proper ones fitted um, because the gums will alter. So, uh, right. Just got to remember to look in the lens and not at the screen. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's so quite pleased with uh, what's happening uh, on the on the boat. Um, I'm getting there. I've got. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting start. Hang on. Let's. I tell you what. Let's put this down on the uh, tripod because then it's going to be a bit easier for me. Um, just a second. Uh, right, okay, hang on. What am I? Oh, I've got the camera set up wrong on the tripod. Okay, okay, right. Let's change the plan, folks. Let's see if that will work better. Just like that. Yeah, okay. That'll have to do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I've settled in. I've uh, uh, discovered the joys of the uh, toilet cassette. God, to tell you what, folks, for those of you who haven't yet gone on to an hour boat, they do fill up quickly. Um, so, oh. <laughs> that was, sorry folks, that was the camera, that was, that was the camera for, oh, it's not going to work. I'll tell you why, I know why it is. It's because, and this, and I'm glad it, it's actually reminded me of something, folks. Um, when you're on an hour boat, it's obviously on water and it obviously moves. Now you don't really notice it. Now the only way, the only way you notice in it, um, kind of, you know, waving around a little, bit, being a bit unsteady, is if you're looking at out the window at something. For instance, I'm looking at a narrow boat next door, and then uh, you can see that um, when you look at the horizontal line of the paintwork on the boat to the window, you can see how much you're moving so uh, yeah uh, and of course this leads to having to rethink where you put um, everything you know um, and how you do things for instance cooking when I'm doing when I'm uh, got the frying pan on for instance uh, the fat will go over to one side because it's not uh, it's not uh, flat so um, and so same with if you were I don't know um, cooking some water uh, not cooking oh god brains everywhere folks boiling some water um, or cooking your potatoes or whatever your veg um, it will be higher on one side than it is on the other so I don't I haven't really 
and I'm just trying to get myself comfy. Uh, <laughs> I haven't really uh, seen that uh, um, advertised much, but uh, you know, on the YouTube channels. But uh, uh, that's basically uh, a thing to think about when you go into go on a boat. This video is turning out to be a bit. Um, well, it's obviously unscripted in that, but uh, <laughs> a bit muddled. <laughs> and that's because it's a spur of the moment thing. I thought better get one done, and because uh, I've been meaning to, but I keep forgetting. Uh, so, yeah, as I say, loads of appointments, um, all thought, all sorts of things. Uh, lady had her operation. She's a lot better now. Well, she's all, she is better now. Uh, she had three lumps removed and uh, a couple of teeth. Um, but that that involved three uh, visits to the vet, and I'm not uh, so near now. So uh, it's like a a twenty mile round trip. No, a forty mile round trip. So um, you know, with the traffic and that over here, that uh, can add a hour and a half out of your day plus whatever you you know the visit in that so yeah so that's taken up time and um it takes time for me to do any walking because i can't really walk uh very well the uh long covid um but i'm eager to uh, start on doing a bit of filming and that. Um, it's just I have to prioritise things at the moment and uh, uh, that's been uh, Lady and my health. And uh, But I will, uh, I can assure you I've got, I, I am going to be doing some uh, filming I've got the equipment, I'm going to be doing uh, wildlife stuff, it's just a matter of when and uh, the temperature's now changed so it's uh, a lot colder now, it's um, a frost last night and uh, I've got to think, I've got to, what's the, what's the thing, I'm um, I can say basically now that I'm um, on my own living on my own um, no mum's no longer around no carers coming in and out of the house you know I've got to think about that I've got to look after myself health wise uh, because I'm not going to get any help otherwise um, Although there's some lovely people on the marina here, and uh, I've got made one lovely friend, Chris. I don't know whether she'll watch this, but uh, she's been taking out Lady each day, which has been great. I won't mention the word, the W word, because she'll get excited. And uh, so that's taken uh, some stress off me. And um, but yeah, generally, boat life is lovely. Um, not so sure about this um, settee sofa or whatever, it's a bit uncomfortable, might need to alter that at some point. Um, and I've still got to tweak things, um, but I'm getting there, I'm getting there. At least I've got the table in here now, because that, I, that's, I didn't have it in for a few, well, don't know how long it was. It wasn't in for a few weeks. I got that. It fits in okay. And, uh, you know, I'm still finding things in the cupboards what the previous owner left. You know, I've I finally found the TV aerial. Not quite sure where it goes on the roof, but uh, <laughs> it's in the wardrobe. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, I'm not going to. Uh, go on anymore. I'm just going to say that uh, I'm still here and I'm going to be back. 
and I'm looking at myself in this screen and I don't know whether I've got a bit of food in my t front tooth or whether it's uh, what it is but I can see something there so I'm sorry folks <laughs> sorry about that okay thanks for watching bye